Okay guys, um, here's the MMC energizing circuit. It's actually mounted up on a piece of wood um, to make it portable for myself and to isolate the circuit. The reason it needs to be isolated is I've made a few changes. Um, well, let me, let's just go over it. Um, here's solenoid number one, solenoid number two, relay number one, relay number two. Now, on yesterday when I did a video, uh, these two solenoids were in parallel through this relay here and it was causing uh, more current drain on the battery than I wanted so what I've changed is I've made it into a series so when this engages it activates this solenoid which comes out of the ground back here through the loop to the S terminal of relay or solenoid number two that uh, completes and clamps down and then completes the circuit which goes up to the battery as you can see here the red wire comes down and I've got it mounted here. Now I didn't have enough terminal lugs to get everything done today so there's a bare wire here, here, and over here. Uh, this is your 50 ohm 10 watt drain resistor. And uh, I had somebody ask me a question about how these relays work and these are single pole double throw. So there's one wire that comes in and the, you know, it can flip flop depending on, you know, if it's on, it closes, and if it's off, it opens, of course, and then it goes to either terminal. Now, how these are wired up is this one is forward, forward wired, and this one is reverse wired, and uh, how I've accomplished that is by switching the poles that I'm using. So, when number one is engaged, okay, um, it closes. Now, this terminal that was over here, that was the red wire, there's nothing hooked to it, see? So that would be open, and when it closes, it completes the circuit. Yellow comes around to the S terminal here, and then, of course, it fires off the series. Now, at the same time, this one is going to be energized, and it's in the same position, see? And its normal position is drain, which means uh, the MMC wire, all right, will normally, if there's no power going to the circuit, will always be connected through here and into the drain. However, when you charge it, um, this relay will kick over, and you can see here the blue wire is not used, so that will create an open there. Now, what that does is it toggles the MMC, okay? So, uh, what we want is when the battery uh, is hooked up, the MMC is hooked up and the ignition system is hooked up, we want to be able to have one complete circuit, okay, while it's running. And then when it's not running, we want that MMC discharged, and we want it disconnected from both sides. Okay? You don't want that live sitting underneath the engine uh, engine room or hood or whatever you have there, wherever you're going to put this. And that's basically how it works. Now, because I've uh, hooked these up in series, there is a small delay, and uh, I believe it's uh, there will be one, two, three clicks is what you'll hear. And we'll go ahead and fire it off now, and you can see it. You can actually hear it. And that's how it works. And uh, the series uh, solenoids have reduced the drain on the, uh, the battery so it's more tolerable. But at the same time, I've had to isolate them so they can't be grounded. They're going to have to have their own system. Um, in other words, if you grounded both of these, of course, you would short it out. And that one would never fire. So that's how the MMC energizing circuit is supposed to work. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get out, out of here. i got to get to work soon. But uh, if you have any questions, I want to know about anything else, just let me know, and I'll do my best to explain it to you. I'll talk to you later.